Hello everybody, welcome to yet another video. In this one we will be creating a creative digital agency website. Uh, this is a, just a simple logo that I created for the sake of this video. We have a really simple tree um, link menu on top. And we have also a login button at the moment. Um, and we have uh, here book a demo. Uh, so a call to action, a header section. We have the clients what we worked with, scrolling down. We have here a, some advantages or something that we can use to convince them to contact us. And then here we have Get Inspired by Previous Project, where we have a simple uh, two-factor slider where, we, uh, where they can see some of our clients. And maybe we could put a link where if they click on it, they go to the website or the project that we've done for them. And here again, a call to action. So this is the page I have created. It's a mix between custom made. So that means starting from scratch and doing everything yourself like here and here as well. Uh, but this, for example, is something that I've just imported with the uh, Cadence uh, design blocks. Uh, so they provide you with some custom made designs where you just have to one click and you import it. And this and this as well, I think, is just imported and then just a little bit adjusted. So that means that we can, in a really, really record breaking time, can create this uh, website because this requires a little bit of custom work this as well but all the other things here are actually just click and import and it's immediately going to look fine okay so what are we going to cover we're going to set up the fonts we're going to set up this header as well with the uh, animation here that you see with the underline on hover we're going to set up the uh, color scheme so the darker and the lighter for our buttons uh, this comes back here the color comes back here so if we set it up we only have to set it up once and every button will immediately have the same layout and the same hover uh, same hover uh, animation um, so we have to set up this color this color um, so and these will always come back in side of this uh, website um, and then we're also going to create this home page about us and clients is going to be for next video i'm trying to keep it short this time so then I'm, we're going to continue with creating the other pages but for today we're going to start with this one all right if you're ready then let's continue and dive right into it so I have installed a fresh 6.3.2 version of WordPress. Uh, by the way, 6.4 is coming up, so uh, you can, might want to read up on this if you want to know what's all new in the new 6.4 WordPress update. Uh, but I have the new uh, fresh install, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this Hello World post. I'm going to go to Pages and remove this sample page. And I'm also going to go to Appearance, remove these themes here. I don't want them. And I'm going to install my Cadence theme, the free one, just from the theme library. Click on install, and then we have to click on activate, like this. Voila, and now we can remove the last theme here as well. So this can be gone, this can also be closed. So we have everything set up. Uh, plugins, we're going to install the Cadence Blocks plugin as well, and then we're ready to go. Let me search, there we go, install, and activate, voila. So we have everything set up, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my digital agency and going to go to the um, customizer, okay? So let's open this up and we're going to start with the first tab here, set up our colors and our um, fonts uh, inside of here, okay? Let's start with the uh, colors. Um, you can select one of the default color palettes that's provided by Cadence and by WordPress if you want to. I'm going to set some custom colors that you saw in the first part of the video where I showed the website. I will put all the colors in the description below so you can copy paste them. Okay, so let me just fill everything in now. Voila, some YouTube magic. So I paused the video, filled in all the colors as uh, I did on the website that you saw in the beginning. As I said, in the description below, you will find this in, find them in this direction as well. I'll put this one first and then go further like this and the white will be on the bottom. So you can copy paste this. So maybe pause the video and fill in your colors now so we can continue, all right? Click on uh, publish if you're ready. 
the other thing is going to be the content background so the side background is the second color here you see not the white but the off-white we call this and we're going to change our content background also to the off-white like this and click on publish so this is done we don't have to do anything here our links are going to be like this now so this is automatically imported from our these two colors so we're going to leave this and then we're going to go to our um, buttons as well so let's uh, open up the buttons tab we're gonna set this yet this is already white and this is also white these colors are also by default this is good no border border radius we're gonna pick 40 pixels font we're gonna leave at inherit for at the moment and we can change this later on then here we're gonna click on disable and we're gonna set this to uh, 8 pixels 40 pixels then 8 8 pixels and 40 pixels like this and then click on publish and then we are going to have to set our fonts in the next part so one back and then we go to typography and we're going to set here you can choose what you want i'm going to use sophia sans semi condensed this one you see immediately this changes everything I'm going to set the font size to 16 pixels by default and then heading we're going to say the same sophia sans semi condensed like this so we have everything and just click on publish perfect the color of the font is going to be this one by default you can change this here as well to this one like this okay perfect let's go to the general tab layout we're going to increase this to 1300 pixels the width of it content left right edge spacing this is a bit personal this is the space you see here you can this is 1.5 rems on a on a, a big screen on a tablet screen if you if i type in two you see it increases the spacing a little bit so this is a little bit personal if you leave it blank it will inherit the this 1.5 rems um, and here as well if you want it to have a little bit more width on the small screen so it's not too squished together you can change this to one for example this is the only thing i'm going to change here in the layout uh, tab actually then maybe go back to the full screen um, let's go to performance we'll say enable loot google fonts locally and preload the local fonts that's why it's uh, getting loaded from our own server and it's not getting pulled in from the google website so this is gdpr more compliant if you really want to be sure yeah enable css preload you can also do this to make it a little bit faster um, don't do this if you already use a plugin for this then you have it's not really useful to have this feature uh, been doing twice by two different plugins so if you don't have use a plugin like i'm now doing i only have the cadence blocks plugin installed i can enable this here click on publish okay let's go back uh, let's go back here and now we can here go to post pages layout for the last part of our setup um, so if we open this up we go to the post layout the page layout I'm sorry we're gonna disable the title we're gonna normal is fine we're gonna leave this we're gonna say unboxed and we're gonna enable the content vertical padding so the thing we have to change is from boxed to unboxed and this disabled if you go to the design tab we can see again to set the side background to this and the content background also to this and then click on publish let's get out of the customizer we have done what we have to do to start with the only thing we haven't set up now is um, our header so it's going to be a sticky header when we scroll down but we'll first uh, start with our home page and then we can uh, enable our header afterwards then it will look a little bit nicer or it will be easier to see how it works okay all right let's go to the next part and start with our home page so we are going to start with our home page so we go to the back end by clicking here go to pages we're going to add a new one call this the home page and we're going to immediately start by importing a row layout the first one then we're gonna do this two equal columns and we're gonna make this a full width section here but we're gonna say team content inner width this means it will use the 1300 pixels that we just set up in the customizer yeah um, and here will be the image and here will be the text that you saw in the website that i showed you in the beginning okay so the text we're going to add is just an advanced text block so we type in text and then use the advanced text block we are going to write the text that you saw this is a creative digital 
uh, agency. We're gonna make this uh, gonna turn it into an H1. We're gonna say double XL as a the size of the font, and then we're gonna select this, and we're gonna click on this little arrow down and select advanced highlight. And then we just have to change some stuff, and we can do this on the right side over here. Advanced highlight settings. I'm gonna say that the color should be uh, this. And the background color should be this all right now we can increase the po the padding a little bit so we have a little bit more space here to between the background and the text itself so the right and left we can say something like uh, eight pixels on both sides and see how this looks and we click on publish and we're going to open our page here and this is now the thing that we uh, have at the moment okay let's continue with we're going to decrease the space between this a little bit the bigger the font size is that you that you get the more space by default it will uh, get so we can change this manually again by going in the top here go to the line height i'm just going to type in one so you immediately see this squishes everything a bit more together let's see it in action this is now how it looks but you can, of course, if you don't like the way it's squished together here, you can always uh, remove this again. Okay, well, let's continue. Click on enter. Gonna add another text block, advanced text block. We're gonna say this is a paragraph. And I'm just gonna copy some uh, Lorem Ipsum text just to have some fill. I'm gonna put this to medium and I'm gonna say advanced typography font weight bolt 700 click on update and then we can check again if you want to how it looks now like this why is this popping up okay then we go to here enter i'm going to type in my uh, button i'm going to select the advanced button from cadence we're going to click on this one to go to the left and then we're going to set here team settings so it will you see immediately the rounded corners and the padding that we've set up in the customizer is now inherited from the team but you have to enable this over here okay then you can type in whatever you want to learn more for example and then click on update again maybe we want to increase the size a little bit let's uh, try this with a large button like this click on update let's see how this looks okay this is what we have at the moment can we remove this okay then we're going to add the section here we're going to do let me just show you first what it will look like so if we select the section the right section we're going to say style background color we're going to pick this background color if we click on update and here we do a refresh you will actually not see anything that's because there is no content uh, inside of this uh, section so how can we fix this there are different ways to uh, fix this. We can select the overlaying row layout. We can go to the advanced tab and set the structure minimum height, let me say 600 pixels. Um, this will not immediately do too much. If you see now, it's still not showing. That's because we have to set the inner column height to 100%. Yeah? So this means even if there is no content inside, the column will still be 100% of height. And now we immediately see there is a, a, a block coming up. But this is not what I wanted to. I want this to be going uh, across and I want it also to go across here. So how can we fix this? Still with the row layout settings, we go now to the layout. We go to the break right section full width. If you don't see this, this is because you didn't put it to max width here. Yeah. So you first have to enable full width to be able. Now I disabled it and you see it's been removed to the settings. So if we go back to my full width. You see break right section full width. In the here it will look weird, but if you now refresh, it will automatically span across the right side completely. And then this spacing is inside of the page settings here. If we go to the content vertical padding, we can say bottom only. This will immediately push it a bit up, but you still have some spacing. And then we have to go to the block settings again. I'm still inside of my row layout, advanced. Padding on the top should be removed. Click on update, refresh, and now it comes completely across. How can we now push this down? We can do different things again. The first thing we could do is just go here in the row layout settings and say align middle. Click on update. 
and this might be sufficient. So you see now it will be perfectly in the middle of this 600 pixels high uh, row layout. So I think I'm just going to use this. Then inside of here, I still want to use my um, image. Yeah. So I'm going to select one from my media library to upload. You can choose whatever one you want. There are different ways again to do this. You could click on add block and search for the image block and then add in the image this way. I'm going to show you another way, but you can do um, what you like. So I'm going to select a section. We go back to my styling tab. I have my background color enabled and then I'm going to go to my background overlay settings, open this up and here select image. Then I'm going to go to my deep media library, select my image. It's with a transparent background, so only this way it will work better then we have to change because now it looks a bit weird so i'm going to say overlay to one so it's going to be completely visible and i want it to be contained inside of this section again this looks weird because this breaking uh, section right is uh, in the in the editor is, is looking weird but you will see that it actually looks okay in the full website here let me refresh and you see this is also uh, fine so this works oh, this is a little bit not really well done the background here is a bit edgy but doesn't really matter it's a demo site so this is a, a, another way to be able to use a color and a background and a background image at the same uh, time for example okay so we have actually done already a really nice job to create this first part of our homepage. let's continue with the second part let's go back inside our page let's disable this or let's make it smaller and now we're going to select the three dots at after so now we can type slash select another row layout this one only needs one column and we're going to add inside of this a, a gallery an advanced gallery so the cadence one like this and now we're going to select this option over here we're going to set the carousel height to one to zero pixels i think this is the minimum as well disable this go to the inside of the settings we don't want it to auto play and we can set some things here i'm going to say 2500 over here to have some slight transition speed uh, let's click on update already uh, arrow style i want none dot style i want none as well link to none caption is also disabled so this is looking fine already let me okay so um, now we have to add some images of course so i'm going to upload my logos that i've just created um, for this website um, and then um, you can just choose logos that you have uh, for yourself or you can uh, import some demo ones uh, you will find them online as well so we click on select images we go to the media library over here and i'm going to select all these icons over here click on create a new gallery insert gallery and they are immediately uh, inside of here. Let me just see how this looks at the moment. So we have our icons over here. Sometimes have to play around a little bit with the settings of the transition speed uh, to be able to um, have the right amount of scroll. And sometimes it's not always working perfectly fine. If we refresh, you see it doesn't really start auto playing yet let me wait for a couple of seconds because sometimes it takes yeah now it starts so we might want to adjust this a little bit so this works a little bit more uh, fluent as well okay but now yeah now there it continues now let me go back here uh, let me go to the thumbnail image sizes let's just say medium so it's not loading the full width but a little bit smaller because it's only or maybe the small ones even. No, this is a little bit, getting a little bit less sharp. So I'm gonna stick with 300 by 300, okay? Click on update, and then I'm gonna select my overlaying row layout again. And we're gonna make this a full width section. I'm gonna align everything to the middle, um, but it's probably going to be in the middle either way. Let's refresh. Okay, so now it's spanning across the whole width. The only thing I want is my images to be, um, because they are all different colors, I want them to be black and white. So we can do this as well. Uh, with the styling tab, we can say image filter here and do grayscale. So now they are all going to be grayed out. And then go back to the row layouts, click on the style tab, say background color, and we want this light bluish color here. Click on update refresh and then we have this section here this we want to disable here as well so i'm gonna have to go back to my previous row layout i'm gonna go to advanced and probably this padding here yeah 
remove it, update, refresh, and now it sticks together. Okay, so this is when we refresh the page. This is the first look here, and then we have this height of 600 pixels, and then we have immediately here my scrolling section that starts scrolling a bit too late. Let's change the settings a bit. Let me say in the gallery, autoplay speed, let me just try something else, 800 update now it goes a bit faster and it starts quite fast as well now so this is easy the only thing you have is like it loads this uh, image is these images are not optimized by a plugin so you see it pulls in the images always after a while but now the speed is what i actually more or less want to uh, so you can change this to the same to the 800 that i just did but you can do whatever you, uh, you find suitable for your site um, of course okay so section one section two actually done a quite a good job this is already uh, starting to look really nice and then the next thing we have to do is add my uh, following uh, section so we can do this with the design library i told you in the beginning that some sections are imported so let me show you how this works so for this uh, next section i use the design library of cadence with the list here and then i imported the one if he connects here let me refresh maybe yes there we are i used uh, this one list number six but you see this is a, a, a pro uh, so it requires the Cadence Blocks Pro. You don't actually need Cadence Blocks Pro to make this kind of a list, but to be able to import it with one click, you actually need it. I forgot about it. So what we're going to do, if you have the Pro version, just click on list six and you have the same layout as in the website that I've shown you in the beginning. If you don't have the Cadence Blocks Pro, we're just gonna recreate this block by using the free version, okay? So let's try to recreate something that looks a bit like this. So let's close this. Let's go here and uh, insert a new row layout. Let's select a two column one, but we're immediately going to say like this. So that's actually possible also on desktop. You can immediately go to collapse. Then here we're going to do our advanced uh, text for later. And then inside of here, we're going to add our um, list actually. Yeah. Um, so the text, you can just type whatever you want. This is a an engaging, heading for our visitors and then we can say maybe this should be extra large like this and let's maybe add a little bit more space on top like this and let's see how this looks now okay this is enough space for me then we have to insert our in the second section they actually use uh, info boxes for this they use the standard layout like this here um, and then they are using the align to the left so everything is aligned to the left uh, for the style we go to the media settings we're going to use the icon but we're just going to use the the v icon this one and then we're going to add our uh, title next to it yeah so this is optional these are all some kind of a let's make this an h3 and set this to me maybe large font family is just going to be inherited font weight uh, as well yeah text settings is just going to be uh, normal and a learn more settings is disabled okay so the actual title this is title number one let's see here on the media the align should be uh, on the left so we have more like uh, this and we're going to align it to the top so then the icon comes at the same height of the uh, title yeah okay let's click on update let's refresh our page here and see so we have uh, this uh, at the moment let's make this one a bit smaller let's say instead of 50 let's make this a 16 uh, a little bit more of a two and a half width and then title maybe yeah, large is fine here okay so this is the the first one so we're going to uh, add now um, some duplicate is the easiest way so we can just duplicate so we need four of these in total so we're gonna just duplicate them twice again duplicate 
and duplicate. And now we want them to be two uh, next to each other. So we have one, two, three, four, instead of all uh, four of them underneath each other. There are probably again different ways we could achieve this. The easiest way would be inside of this section, adding a row layout. So if we click on the plus, do a row layout and I'll scoot it over to the top here. We're gonna say a two column one. And then inside of this first section here, we can grab the info box and drag it inside and inside so they are underneath and then in the second section we'll do the same we drag them inside and inside so we have actually already looking something quite similar to the finished website you see so this is actually a bit the same layout that the import did the only thing is this requires a little bit more time but you see it's actually achievable with the free version of the cadence blocks as well again if you don't like the icon or the width of the height of this icon you can or the size i should say you can just change this to your liking this is just a little bit similar to what i've imported from the design library nice so we have uh, most of the thing already uh, done then we need to uh, add something more in this last uh, section i've again used the import from the design library it's going to be the same problem i've used one of the sliders now uh, this is the one that i used but you see the same thing requires cadence blocks pro you will see that using the cadence free uh, blocks plugin is normally su sufficient this will require a little bit more work with this uh, special heading stuff here uh, but it's actually uh, doable so let's try to recreate this as well and then we're done with the uh, home page of this site and the end of this video as well so we have to insert a new uh, well, this is not right it's after yeah row layout let me click on the plus a row layout we're gonna need a two column uh, row layout and we're gonna do the same as before we're gonna just immediately scoot them over so they are uh, under need each other let's increase the spacing so we have some room for our header and then inside of here we're going to add a, a section section over here yeah and um, so we have a row layout with a section and inside of this section we have another section this is a little bit complicated maybe but this helps us achieve the background effect that we want uh, in a minute so the slider you will see if you have the free plugin if you type in slider it will not find anything but we can have a similar effect as the finished product uh, but by using the advanced gallery which is which is included in the free uh, plugin so if we import this uh, gallery one we're going to select the icons insert the gallery and we're going to use this one over here and we're going to say two columns you can choose you can be 16 by 9 if you want it to be a little bit more squished together i'm going to stick with the 16 by 9 and then here you can set the gutter between the two images the image size and then here carousel settings if you want it to autoplay or not how many slides it should scroll one or if it should scroll them all at once so they are so you can choose i'm going to choose one here and then the arrow style you can uh, see what you prefer. Uh, it's not going to be Im completely the same, but it will be will be coming close to the one that you can import with the advanced slider. Okay, styling here you can add some border radius and an image filter if you want to, and then some padding and some margin. But I don't really uh, I'm going to bother too much. Um, so this is actually going to be quite similar to. Let me refresh. Um, so you can see so we have something like this now and this comes quite close to this advanced slider that you can if you have the box pro version you can just import and you will see it looks a bit different but it will actually have a bit the same look and a bit the same effect so we have this now set up here we're going to add our uh, heading so we add the text one uh, let's do this this is a heading then some uh, paragraph so we're going to add another advanced text block changes to a paragraph i'm going to copy paste some uh, lorem ipsum text okay so let's paste in the text itself here we are let's now change this one maybe also to the large and then underneath we're going to add the advanced cadence button we're going to scoot this over to the left justify left and we're going to say here again the team settings so every button has the same look 
contact us make sure that you if you use this in a real website that you actually link this up with something so you should here then uh, type in your contact or whatever if you have a contact page that it links to that or or, or set up a mail to double and then a double point and then your email address so it opens up the email clients email uh, software to mail to you uh, but now we don't have any pages set up so just the button is here but i'm not actually going to link it at the moment click on update and then we're gonna add a, a kind of um, let me open this view again select this uh, section and we're gonna add a slight background color maybe use this one and see if we refresh we have to add some padding to make it a bit more nice uh, looking so go to the advanced tab we open up the padding maybe large and large and then from the medium and medium, for example, click on update. Let's see how this looks. This looks nice already. I think the color is probably a bit different in the imported one, but you can, of course, change the background color to the thing that you like. And now we have to make this little effect on top here. Um, so we have the section with here inside the section. This is going to be used for the background effect, but we're gonna first add after uh, an advanced text block again twice slash text click on duplicate so we have two of them and um, so there is going to be a one of them is going to be a, a heading the bottom one is going to be the heading one let's paste in the text and then this is good this is going to be a div like this and we're going to say our projects projects like this and we're going to go to the overlay in section and set here a text alignment to the middle so this applies then every bit of text will have the same styling this makes it easier we don't have to actually do this inside of here and inside of here again um, and then inside of this section we're going to add the uh, background effect this is going to be an advanced text block again we're going to say digital we can type in digital wizards this is the text that i used in the in the website uh, that you saw in the beginning we're going to set this to double xl we're going to say this is uh, all uppercase like this and then we're going to go to the uh, text shadow uh, settings and we can set some effects here to make it a bit more uh, special looking let's click on update that it's saved now the i'm messing up the colors this is just a normal one that is uh, applied let's add a little bit of blur here and then we're going to just use the color one over here and make uh, <clears throat> once we have everything set up so we have the color right we have some text shadow with a little bit of blur adder added to it here we're going to decrease the spacing a bit so we go to the advanced tab of the our projects here we're going to say margin on the bottom to be extra small and then over here margin on the top to be extra small as, as well and you will immediately see that this text will be a lot closer together now we have to get this on top so we can do this by selecting this section here go to the advanced tab remove all padding and we're gonna use the margin uh, bottom we're gonna select uh, this one so we can put in a custom value and do minus 60 pixels to start with refresh and then you see it's actually already working but now we have to do something that it's getting across right because now the digital wizards is on top so we can go back uh, here Set the zip index to zero. I was wrong. It's actually minus. Uh, we can just use this section and go to the advanced step and go to minus one. This will normally be sufficient. Voila, now you see the text comes across. You can make it a bit bigger if it's not obvious enough that there is text under overhead. So this is how you can create this effect. The only and that's actually it i think we have done everything uh, except this is a little bit different because of the free version but you see that most of the things you can actually recreate quite easily even with the free plugin um, we need this section here to be able to set this z index to minus one 
because we can't do this with just a standard text block you don't have the you could do this with custom css but it's not an option inside of here to set it to minus one so that's why there is an extra section inside to be able to put this on the background okay if we then look to the inspect view and go to let me change this so we can see here so this is already looking nice here it is and then here it goes away because there is no actual uh, content inside so this is looking fine this is working fine this is also going fine by itself here and then over here as well this is looking fine now we have the slider so just by using the standard cadence blocks uh, you often see that you don't have, have too much work uh, for the responsive settings because everything is actually set up so that it should work quite fine even without doing too much the only thing we have here is maybe because these titles go underneath because this is a bit longer that you have on a certain screen size now they are again similar here you see there is a little bit of spacing in between but this is actually really yeah, difficult to all set up so i wouldn't really bother with this specific screen size but you see even responsive is working so I think we have done everything we need. Let me just show you over here the top row layout. If we go to the uh, advanced tab over here, and if we go to the over here, you see this is actually now disappearing because there is no content inside. This section section is just empty. We just set a background image, but because on this and on this they are in the same line you see they are next to each other and we've set the inner column height to be 100 percent so because this is it has a height this is also getting the 100 percent height but as soon as they go underneath each other there is no height to to inherit let's say so this disappears by default but that's not actually a bad thing because that would be weird to have this text and then just an empty or just an image underneath so i think this works quite fine yeah. okay so we have done the home page this is responsive as well and in the next video we will be continuing with the next two pages and then also uh, setting up our header as always thank you for watching and see you in the next one